pi, what is the value of t given that you have 3 to the power of t minus 2 to the power of t equals 65. So let's have it to be solution from here. So recall that t is a member of positive integer and t is also greater than 0. So from here, we have t, 3 to the power of t. We can have this in parentheses to the power of 1. 1 times t will give us back our t minus 2 to the power of t all in parentheses to the power of 1. t times 1 will give us back our t equals 65. Then from here, let us recall that when we have 1 equals as when we have 2 divided by 2. So let's substitute 1 to be equals 2 divided by 2 from here. This implies we have 3 to the power of t and parentheses to the power of 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of t and parentheses to the power of 2 over 2 equals 65. Then from here, we call from the law of indices that when we have a to the power of n and parentheses to the power of n can be simplified as a to the power of n times n. So applying it here, we can quickly have it as take it to the power of t over 2 and parentheses to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of t over 2 and parentheses to the power of 2 equals 65. So from here, let's a to be equals 3 to the power of t over 2 and b to be equals 2 to the power of t over 2. Our concern here is that we want to make this expression to look as when we have difference of 2 squared. So from here we are going to have it as since our a equals this, here will be a to the power of 2 minus our b equals this, here will be b to the power of 2. It will now be a squared minus b squared equals 65. Then let us recall that when we have x squared minus y squared from the algebraic expression, this equals as x plus y multiplied by x minus y. So make the comparison with this. We are going to have a plus b in parentheses multiplied by a minus b in parentheses equals 65. Then once again, from here, what are the prime factor of 65? Then we believe that from here, we have the prime factor of this, we know the prime factor is 1 is not included. So it, the prime factor of this will be 13 and 5. So meaning that we can have this as 13 times 5. Or we can also have it as 5 times 13. But from this expression, which one are we going to consider from here to here? We must know that because of this negative, a plus b, all in parentheses, greater than a minus b in parentheses, because of the negative. So therefore, this side must be greater than this side. Likewise, happen to this. When we say 13 times 5, 13 is greater than 5. When we say 5 times 13, 5 is less than 13 from here. So we have to consider this one in order to have this one as greater than this in respective of this one. So therefore, we are going to have a plus b to be equals 13. We can name this as equation 1 and a minus b to be equals 5. We can name this as equation 2. So from here, when we had equation 1, and 2 together, we are going to have a plus a 
to be 2a this we cancel out this then we are going to have 13 plus 5 so from here we have 2a 13 plus 5 it will give us 18 then dividing through by 2 to get the possible value of a this we cancel out this we have a 18 divided by 2 will be 9 then if you are to recall from the either of the equation so from here we have a plus b equals 13 then our a equals 9 so here will be 9 plus b equals 13 then b will be equals 13 minus 9 then b be equals 4 so therefore we have a to be equals 9 and b to be equals 4 then let us recall from where we have our a to be 3 to the power of t over 2 then our b to be equals 2 to the power of c over 2 from here we are going to have it is a equals 9 equals 3 to the power of t over 2 let us have 9 in base 3 so this will be 3 to the power of 2 equals 3 to the power of t over 2 then we call from the law of indices that when we have a to the power of b that equals a to the power of c so far they have the same base this implies b equals c likewise the same base as this implies 2 equals t over 2 then when we cross multiply definitely here will be t equals 2 times 2 and this will be equals 4 so we can declare t equals 4 now when we also consider this for b so from here we are going to have 2 equals 2 to the power of c over 2 sorry here is 4 from here then let us have this 4 in base 2 as 2 to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of t over 2 when we equate when we make the compression of the base then we equate the power this implies we have 2 to be equals t over 2 when we cross multiply this will be t equals 2 times 2 and t will be equals 2 times 2 will be 4 so we get the same solution as the previous one so t equals 4 then if you are to check we have t to the power of t minus 2 to the power of t equals 65 when t equals 4 this will be t to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 then it's going to give us 65 t to the power of 4 simply means t times t times t times t this will be 81 minus 2 2 to the power of 4 will be 16 then it's going to give us 65 so from here if we are to minus this 1 from this is impossible this here will be 11 times minus this 11 minus 6 it will be 5 remain then here will be 7 minus 1 will be 6 65 equivalent to 65 so the left hand side equals to the right hand side and so therefore finally t equals 4 satisfy the problem given to us so if you are new here once again don't forget to share like comments and subscribe to our youtube channel for more math tutorial videos Bye-bye.